Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for August 30th to September 12th. And thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members for their support. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, I also uh, provide content on there. If you guys want to check it out or you want a personal rating, all the information is in the description box below. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? We're going to do overall love and then advice as well as, as you guys know with the bi-weeklies, uh, the singles are also at the end of this. So stick with me till the end and let's jump right in. So what's going on with my Aries Romantic Love Life for August 30th to the 12th of September? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, that feels good. What's going on with my Aries Romantic Love Life for August 30th to September 12th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, feels good. All right, so it looks like in, oh wow, in the current situation, we got the lover's card energy. So you may be dealing with a twin flame soulmate connection. There may be some choices being made with the heart this coming couple weeks. Yeah, and there's something to do with your wish and your hope here coming up here with the star card energy or something to do with uh, hope and faith here. Uh, seven is a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing about this choice. Could the lover's card represent some type of choice or it, me it means coming together um, in a partnership, you know, being together. Okay, so let's see what the blockage is. There is a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing with the Four of Swords energy. So there is definitely a lot of overthinking going on here about how to improve or change here. Or for some of you, migration could be an issue, okay? This is part of the blockage or what's crossing you. Uh, eight is about putting the work or effort into it, and four is about stability and stables or having to structure things and organize things in a certain way. Okay, so at the foundation, it looks like there is this opportunity of true love here. Obviously, we see the Twin Flame Soulmate card here coming out for you guys. So we see that there is potential true love here with the Ace of Cups energy. And there is an opportunity here for you with the Key card energy. So at the foundation of the matter, you have this potential opportunity of true love. And there is an opportunity here with the key card energy. And we see six represents healing, recovery, and love, and some kind of potential here with the ace card energy. In the past, there was some type of party going on here with the three of swords energy because of travel, because this is a ship card energy. And with Lenormand, the ship can actually mean travel or change or movement here. So that caused some heartache around your situation here. Three is working towards some kind of foundation or a creative solution here. At the head of the matter, there is a lot of happiness going on here, a lot of optimism for you in your romantic love life, and strong desires here with the uh, snake card energy. Or for some of you, something to do with the lack of flexibility, that also could be an issue here. And obviously, we're coming back to a seven card number, which is a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing here about your happiness. In the near future, it looks like you're gaining the answers that you need here with the Ace of Swords energy. Uh, and you have a sense that there is some type of spiritual connection here, or because you're trying to gain the answers that you need, there is a little bit of a burden and a challenge to that. Okay, three plus six is seven, eight, nine. So it is about fulfilling your wishes when it comes to this opportunity. So let's go around the circle here. So it looks like um, there could be some strong desires here or lack of flexibility when it comes to travel or movement or change pertaining to this opportunity, which is causing a burden and challenge here. If we go to the uh, tarot cards of this, it's saying that there is uh, a want to gain some kind of mental clarity to be happy because of this heartache, because of this true love here, Ace of Cups energy okay so let's see how your love interest sees the situation wow they are definitely in it they they feel like there's a lot of romance there's a lot of romantic gestures here with the knight of cups energy they do feel like time is a factor in this situation with the clock card energy but they do feel like there is romance here there's romantic gestures and romantic movements here with the knight of cups energy and obviously there's love there with the knight of cups energy three plus seven is eight nine ten a sense of completion a sense of accomplishment when it comes to this let's see the feelings here wow yep there is a potential for love they do see this is a new path in love or potential for love with the page of cups energy and a person card is coming out there okay so 
They have a sense that there's potential love here. There's romantic gestures here. They feel like uh, their time is a factor here. And two plus nine is 10, 11. So something to do with a choice. And then of course, three plus seven is eight, nine, 10. Uh, a sense of wanting some kind of completion around this choice. Obviously, there's a lot of love going on for you guys this week. So I just want to uh, clarify what this burden and this challenge is for you guys. Hold on one second here. Why is this cross card here? Why is this cross card here? Why is this cross card here? Some indecisions that you have to gain some clarity on. And it's there's a person that's trying to use their intelligence to come up with a solution uh, when it comes to this potential passion here or flirty energy to hold on to this situation for pentacles energy to a soulmate connection. Obviously, you guys have some good stuff going on. You know I love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's see what the influence is here. Okay, so there's some stress going on. There's some anxiety happening that's influencing your romantic love life. And a lot of emotions are at play here with the fish card energy, or for some of you, the anxiety is coming in because of the fact that there could be money and finance involved with the situation, right? That's affecting you. Obviously, migration or change or improvement. Um, and also for some of you, we see the store card energy. There could be some fertility because remember, store brings in the babies there. And there's a lot of thinking and contemplating about that, what seems to be crossing or blocking you, okay? So nine is about wishes being fulfilled. Seven is a and thinking, contemplating, and analyzing here. Okay, so before we look at the outcome for this situation, I want to look at your advice. Okay. A lot of people cards came out. Okay, so Nine of Cups is just saying your advice is to fulfill your wishes here with the Nine of Cups energy. So this is just about what fulfills your wishes here. Okay, so your advice is to fulfill your wishes to completely be happy there, the Nine of Cups energy. All right, so let's look at the Lenormand before we go over the Tarot here, and I just wanna give it a second just to kinda of take it all in here. Okay, so we got the Tarot card energy. Okay, so, wow. So it looks like with the Page of Pentacles energy, it's there's potential for some kind of long-term commitment, and uh, it's about gaining that strength or control here with the bear card energy or having the strength for this potential long-term commitment here or messages of some kind of long-term commitment here. Um, it does look like there's a sense of being wise in the decision making when it comes to long-term commitments and finding the right direction here with the compass card energy. And it does look like um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So we have, it looks like potentially uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and then we have the Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, which is saying, okay, someone's taking a leadership role because they want things organized and structured in a certain way, or there's a sense of isolation or separation when it comes to um, making wise choices when it comes to passion here. Okay, I want to just kind of go through this all over again here just to be sure that I'm, you know, I, I'm making it sure it's clear for you guys. Okay, so there's strength here or something to do with control and finding the right direction because of the sense of isolation or separation. There's a potential pass for a long-term commitment and a wise decision when it comes to long-term commitment and wise decisions when it comes to passions with the Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy there at the end. Okay, so I just wanna clarify why that tower card is there. Why is that tower card there? Why is that tower card there? Why is that tower card there? You guys need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Knight of Wands. Um, an action towards passion, some passionate energy there, and wanting to hold on to this situation for success because King of Wands is saying wanting to make a wise choice when it comes to passion and wanting to speak a truth about that. And um, there may be, there seems to be some disputes or arguments, Five of Wands energy, because uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy wants to be wise in decision making when it comes to long term commitments here and is trying to gain the strength, the courage, and the confidence to work together to build a foundation here with the Three of Pentacles energy so that there can be a sense of completion, a happy ending, because this actually, the World Card energy is the happy ending card. Okay, so uh, obviously if we come back to the blockage here for you guys, there is a lot of thinking and contemplating about how to change things, how to improve things, or the migration factor may be an issue because obviously in the past for some of you, obviously there's a long distance relationship and travel or movement seems to be an issue which is causing this heartache. 
Okay. So uh, let us now move on to our singles. And you go, I love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below what's going on with you guys. I love to hear from you. Okay. Move this out of the way. Bear with me for a second here. Okay. It's going on my Aries singles for August 30th to the 12th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. What's going on my Aries single for August 30th to September 12th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see what's going on here, Aries. Okay, all right, so you guys are stressing a bit here with this Nine of Swords energy. It seems like there's some sleepless nights, there's some things keeping you up here, or um, it definitely looks like there is a sense of worry and stress, and Nines are about wishes being fulfilled, so you're stressing about this. Okay, so the blockage seems to be for you guys' judgment. So there is a sense of wanting to heal or recover, or uh, obviously there still needs to be some healing and recovering, or there's a sense of you want things to, to be ruled in your favor. That's the judgment card energy, when something is ruled in your favor, right? Or it's a sense of healing, recovery, reconciliation, or for some of you, possibly reconciliation with someone from the past. Um, so uh, obviously that's crossing you or blocking you here. At the foundation here, it's just moving past these challenges so you can move into calmer water so you can heal and recover here with the Six of Swords energy. To know that the storm is over. To know that you're getting past these difficulties here with the Six of Swords energy. And obviously Sixes are about healing, recovery, and love. In the past, you had a sense that there was an ideal situation, that you had all the tools you need. You were trying to manifest some things in your romantic love life here with the magician card energy. At the head of the matter, it's about communication or wanting things to move faster here with the eight of wands energy. Okay, Eights are about putting the work or effort into a situation. And we see, in, wow, in the near future, there's going to be some passion and energy for you guys with the knight of wands. Right? Knight of Wands represents some kind of passionate energy happening here. Let's clarify that too. Uh, I just want to kind of get a little bit more information about that Knight of Wands energy and happening for you guys. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Oh, there's an opportunity coming up here. Ace of Cups energy. And looks like things are going to move in your favor here. Wheel of Fortune energy. Uh, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, or it's going to be something new, a new concept, a new idea, a new... Uh, way of presenting things here uh, when it comes to this attraction with the Queen of Wands energy. Wow, okay, okay guys, all right. And we see here, if we go around here, it's saying something to do with uh, wanting to move fast or something's coming in fast or something to do with messages. It looks like you've manifested some things here with the Magician card energy, which has brought some healing and recovery here. And you're moving past these challenges because there's just really passionate energy here with the Knight of Wands energy. So yes. There's some passionate exercise coming in for you guys in the near future, okay. So the influence we see, there's definitely, there's somebody that's finding you very attractive, very sexy here with the Queen of Wands energy, which is definitely influencing your romantic love life, that passionate energy there. Okay, so before we move to the outcome here, I wanna take a look at your advice. Okay, so, Three of Pentacles shows me, well, this it shows me come up with a creative solution, work together, build a foundation. Okay, that's all the three card energy there. Let's clarify that three card energy again. It's building a foundation, working together, coming up with a creative solution. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? What else do we need to know about Three of Pentacles for the advice? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Don't feel, oh, you guys have more than one choice or option. Okay, don't feel like your hands are tied here. Take a leap of faith, take a risk here. Because as somebody who had walked away, don't feel burdened or challenged by this. And be honest about the situation with the Seven of Swords energy. Don't have a sense of being left out in the cold. 
Okay, so let's see what's going on here with this outcome. Mm, okay, so we got Three of Cups energy. Okay, Three of Cups can represent celebration, hanging out, friendship, socializing here with the Three of Cups energy, or something to do with a friendship circle here with the Three of Cups energy. Or for some of you, as I said, more than one choice or option here, Three of Cups energy. And um, it looks like there's something uh, to do with patience because uh, there's a person that's waiting for an equal give and take here with this temperance card energy because of something to do with three of cups obviously with the friends or more than one choice or option uh, so someone's trying to be patient about this and it looks like it could be somebody through a friendship circle for some of you or you just have a couple of different options there okay uh, definitely we see that there is a person that finds you a wise choice when it comes to love and romance there with the king of cups energy cancer scorpio pisces energy so very good energy here so and or for some of you we can interpret this outcome as friendships may be influencing the situation which is causing you to be patient but there is somebody who's definitely checking you out and sees you as a wise decision when it comes to love and romance with the king of cups energy okay all right my darlings i love you guys so much if you like this please like and subscribe and for some of you since i see the judgment card energy i will be releasing x returns that's the next release i'll be releasing in the next day or two so stay tuned um I, I guess I got this one out a little bit later than I would like it to, only because I got swamped with personal reading, so sorry about that. Um, all right, so thank you guys again for watching. Uh, thank you to all my members. Um, and guys, I'll be seeing you soon. I love you guys so much, and enjoy the next couple of weeks.